Yeah. All right. So, no, exactly wait, like wait, that. wait. I'm coming at you, Dan. Wait, I'm wait. Narc. Slow-mo, 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 please. I'm narc. Oh. Okay, I'll go. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly how I pictured it. And then and then you die on top of me, and I'm just like, get off of me, T. You're a lot. Oh, God, you're so... Uh. Just a smelly, tr- dead Trolloc. <laughs> I don't think I would have gotten out from underneath that guy. I think I would have just kind of been, I kept pushing. Oh, oh, get off me. Oh, I would have just died of attrition. Well, I, I know that that weighted blankets are kind of a thing now uh, for anxiety, for certain, like, that, I, that that may have been one of the first weighted blankets. If he was not in such a state of fear, maybe it was kind of comfortable under big old narg. Oh, okay. No, this we got a fact-based question. I'm going to go through this. Okay. From Dean Moxley. Hello, Andre Dean. the Giant was 7'4 and 420 pounds. I think he's being loose with that. Oh, 430 pounds? All right. Oh, 30. Trollocs being 10 feet tall would probably weigh around 550 and 600 pounds. Yeah. Maybe an extra 125 to 175 in armor. That is a heavy blank blanket. Yes. Oh, That's man. my point. If that guy landed on me, I'm doomed. I'm just lying there going, I wish I did my push-ups. <laughs> yeah, that's like a ba- that's like an entire bear on you, I guess. But, but With nothing, wearing armor. <laughs> but nothing for Rand. <laughs> He's chopped enough wood to like just <laughs> throw that trollic off him, dude. <sighs> Ryan, if I if I can kind of t- uh, defend Rand's strength, if I can, uh, so his bow I think is about like it's bigger than he is, and he's pretty much the tallest dude in town. And uh, Tam Tam Althor, Tam Althor is pretty much the only only other guy who's able to like completely pull this thing back. Uh, so you got to figure right. that, that Rand's got got. He's got some shoulders, you know, maybe, maybe not parent shoulders, maybe, but he, no, no, he's got, he's, he's cut. He's, he's cut. Skinny. I think he's yeah. cut and really tall and like, but, but kind of skinny too, I guess. I don't know. But they also, I mean, but they, I mean, these are not, these are not like Rand and Tam bows. These are two river bows. These are typical. These are what everyone uses. Uh, nope, nope, nope. No, nope. it does. Oh. It, it does. It does state specifically. Oh no! That, get a fact feet down. Oh. Oh, hit, hit the music. <laughs> so right. no, no, it does state in the chapters before that uh, that Tam Althor is pretty much the only other guy in the district that can pull fully pull Rand's bow when they were walking down the quarry road. I think I remember that. Hey, yeah. and we have a chat now. I mean, someone, someone, tell Ryan he's wrong, would you? Come on, <laughs> back me up. Take down. Oh, well, no. wait. Here, here's my Mick Jagger. Oh, won't you back me up? <laughs> oh, won't you back me up? I'll never stop. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Don't make right. a grown man cry. Die. Oh, <laughs> Don't make dear. a grown. All right, so yeah, uh, Dana Lee is pointing out that the bow is seven feet tall. Word. Okay. Bam. All right, so I mean, so do we think Tam Rand is buff, or do we think he's not? I mean, like, what do we think? Do, Just why, how do we? He's how do chiseled. we justify, guys, in the chat, everyone? How do we justify Rand getting out from underneath Narg? If we have a Narg <laughs> blanket. How how are we getting out from underneath that? I think Rand's benching about 220, 225. You know, when, when you're laying on the ground, you have your feet under you. Uh, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it for sure. Yeah, yeah, I can do it. I can do well, it. And well, and we have to factor in, he was just uh, chopping wood <laughs> and doing chores. Yes. Which which I I had originally thought that, you know, Tam was doing a great idea that get let's get this guy's mind off of everything and get him to work. But then I thought later on, what if that backfired and his arms were tired? <laughs> if uh, I was doing that work, I would be I like, would not uh, be able to kill an arg. I'd be like, oh, I wish I didn't do the axing. <laughs> He's like, this sword's too heavy. Oh. And he didn't need 
dinner. And he didn't eat dinner. You're right. He didn't, he didn't get that that awesome stew that Tam prepared, which I was really bummed about. I oh, hate brother. seeing food go to waste like that. I, <laughs> like in movies when people get up and leave like, you know, plates of food. And like, I hate that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we got some answers. Uh, Anyways. We have some answers to the question. Um, one is that, you know, Tree says, how do you get out from underneath the narg? Lots of shimmying. So, Dan, give me a shimmy, Dan. Give me a, how do we get out of a nerd? Right. You're lying there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <sighs> all right. I did, all right. Yeah, that's easier than it looks. No, yeah, no. It, uh, and then, uh, yeah, shimmying and adrenaline. Um, uh, Dean Moxley says, shrimp out, shrimp out. Um, oh, shrimp out. Wait. Okay. I, I know. I have translation, man. No, Dan Lou says Dan is right. I just think she's just blankly saying you're just right, and I think that's great. I don't think it's specific. Just Dan right. is right. AK <laughs> Dan is right. Ryan's wrong. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. D Moxie says Ran had country strong. Tree says <laughs> country strong. Dude, country strong. Uh-huh. Totally. A tree says it was honey cake power. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think this is Mandarv. Confirm if Scott is Mandarv. Mandarv. Uh, uh, Scott says that he threw the hot water on the Trollic's face. LOL. Oh. And Dana Lou points out that Rand does physical labor all day. That's all day. Yeah. And, and it's a long winter, so he's been chopping way more wood than usual. Right? No. Oh, that's... Gosh. Gosh. That's, yeah, you're right. You're oh, right. Okay. Long, so he's extra buffed. <laughs> okay, no, 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 ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm Dean Moxie's pointing out when he said shrimp out, shrimp out. I thought he was ordering so, a dish. He was explaining <laughs> that's how wrestlers and MMA fighters get out from under an opponent. Oh. All right, so they shrimp out. They shrimp out, okay. All right. Dude, learn something new. I want, I want more details of a. This is a comment from Dean Moxley. This is a demonstrate shrimping out, which is how you get out from underneath Narg the Trollic. This, Here we go. I'd really like everyone to watch this for a good 10 seconds. This could <laughs> save your life one day. Dan, when we get back from uh, from sharing my screen, I hope you are doing this motion. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so were you shrimping out when we got back in, Dan? I, I, oh, um, yep, yep, okay. I was. Okay. I was. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, uh, All right. If we don't provide context uh, for that, that's going to be tra- problematic. 